Hi, welcome to the next session on SAP Data Migration. In this, we'll see some detail about the LSNW. LSNW stands for Legacy System Migration Workbench. It is a workbench for data migration, and LSNW is the first choice in data migration project. It can be used by both the functional consultant as well as technical consultant. It provides four different methods for migration. It can be used with any database. But first, the data need to be downloaded into text file and then text file as per SAP formats are uploaded in SAP. As we can see from this image, on the left hand side, we can have any SAP or non SAP system. But LSNW cannot talk directly to the non SAP system or SAP system. It requires a text file as an input. So, what we do from the source system, we download data into a text file. If the text file is as per SAP format, it is directly uploaded into the LSNW. Or if the download file from the source system is not as per SAP format, then first we have to convert that file into SAP readable format and then we can upload it into the LSNW. T code for LSNW is same LSNW. On the initial screen, we can see project, sub project, and the object. It is better to follow some naming convention. Suppose you are doing a migration for the MM project, so you can follow the naming convention as MM. Material master, and if, if you are uploading material, then give the material. Second, in the same MM module, we might upload the master data vendor. So we can follow proper naming convention, then it will be easy for search in future. In the next step, after giving the project ID sub project on the initial screen. We can see there are 14 different steps. The first six steps are known as the design part, in which we design the system. And the remaining four, eight uh, points are just execution, like the reading data, converting into internal format, etc. So from the design point of view, first five points are important. So we have to select the first one, that is maintain object attribute. And we have to click on execute button. So the next screen we can see inside the LSNW deployed four methods one, two, three, and four. That is the standard batch input. Second is the batch input recording. Third is buffy method. And the fourth one is ad hoc. So we can use any of the four meter, uh, any one of the four meter. So what is the standard batch input or direct input meter? In the, in the direct input meter, SAP provides the predefined objects, methods with a program attached to it. It is given only for the standard transition like metal master, vendor master, custom master, etc. We can see the list of objects. When you click on F4 on the object list, it required basic SAP table knowledge and instruction knowledge and the complete knowledge of the transition code for which we want to migrate. Suppose if you are transferred to Metal Master, then we should know how the MM01 is used in our system. If you want to transfer, migrate the customer data, then we have to know the functionality of the T code XT01. So what are the advantage of direct input method? It is well tested by SAP and easy to process. But along with this, what are the disadvantage? It is not supported for all the transition, especially for the enjoy transition like ME21N, MIGO, etc. Second is the batch input recording, which is a very, very popular tool of LSNW. The main advantage of batch input recording is this can be used by both the function, uh, functional consultant as well as technical consultant. 
and also the batch input recording can be used for a standard transition code as well as for the custom transition code if we have the model code program so we can do the batch recording for custom transition also the BDC programming the recording method does not require a programming knowledge very basic table knowledge is required in this method we actually record the each screen of the transition code and then we make a text file we do the mapping with the text file and the recorded field but compared to the BDC uh, direct input method BDC is little slow because for every transition code it called the screens so what are the other advantage this can be used for both a standard and custom transition it is easy to modify and it can be run in the foreground mode as well as in the background mode no programming language is required so batch input recording of the lsmw is the most powerful and mostly this method is used by the consultant third is the BAPI, which is it stands for business application programming interface Puppies are well tested function model provided by SAP. SAP gives the guarantees of integrity of your database for anything updated in the bar using Puppy. Puppy are well tested models which are created using the object builder. So here we have to select the business object which we want to process, the corresponding method, whether we want to create chain, etc. What are the advantage of BAPI? BAPI are very fast compared to other methods. It is available for most of the enjoy transition also, like purchase order creation, sales order creation, MIGO, etc. For that, we can use the BAPI. But what are the disadvantages of BAPI also? BAPI are not available for all the transition. It requires good web knowledge and we cannot use for the custom transition because for custom transition, we generally does not create the BAPI. The fourth one is IDOC, which I stands for Intermediate Document. Here IDOC works only as a receiver system because the center is a flat file. The advantage of IDOC method is it is easy to load, low programming language required. We can check data anytime in W02 and if any errors are there we can root process using BD87 but along with advantage what are the disadvantage of ad hoc we require a good knowledge of ad hoc configuration and complete receiver side configuration to be done so this is all about the four methods of LSNW so finally we can summarize as the advantage of LSNW Flexibility to use different methods can be used for both technical and the functional consultant. Migration possible with any database as the final input method will be the file. What are this advantage? It is very difficult to debug a LSNW and we cannot do the complex coding to perform any validation, to perform any default value based on the condition. So this is all about the LSNW. In the next, we'll see about the BDC and the BAPI methods. Thank you.